and we are back how's it going everyone welcome back to our retro playthrough as you know i uploaded a video about one year ago on this channel which was the tutorial we went through the tutorial together as a character and now the beta sneak peek is finally here so i can go ahead and record the future parts to this hopefully it should be four episodes if not a bit more um, but we're going to play through the future as a brand new character. You can see I already have my GM character here uh, that I was using to mess around with uh, on stream yesterday. If you want to hang out for our streams, I stream almost every day. Uh, Twitch.tv backslash Prisified. But that episode did very, very well, so I'm hoping that this one does very well also. Um, if you're excited for this playthrough, go ahead and leave a like, as well as some comments, and subscribe if you, subscribe if you want to. Ring that bell, you know the drill. So, we're gonna, we already have uh, a character here, but he's level 4 and done everything already. Um, and may or may not have some items that I may or may not have spawned in. But, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new character, uh, real quick. I know you already watched me make my character in the last episode, so I'm just gonna cut ahead to when that's done. Uh, you already know what my character's gonna look like and what his name is, so we're just going to skip ahead at that point, and I will be right back when that is done. Also make sure guys, if you haven't checked out the last part, part 0, I know this is part 1, but there was a part 0 where we did run through the Tech Square feature tutorial, uh, make sure you go and watch that so you guys know what uh, what we skipped. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go skip ahead and make my character now. All right, we have made it to the future. You can see all these other players in here. Uh, I made the exact same characters last time. The only difference is I renamed him. He's now named Prizzy Acorn Blue um, instead of Blamo because we now have the ability to use custom names, and I went and accepted that one real quick uh, while I was making the character. Um, first things first, I'm going to make sure that the game is working. Uh, yes, they are. I know Womayam just messaged me and said, can you check while you're recording to make sure that all the shards are still running? And I'm going to say, yes, they are. All are there. Perfect. All right, so we can start off our retro playthrough. As you can see, we have the mission cap already. Um, this was like a little extra bonus thing for playing during the sneak peek weekend, or the sneak peek week, if you will. Um, so we're going to start playing uh, Fusion Fall now. As you know, uh... We gotta go around and grab some missions from NPCs. So we're gonna grab this NPC or this mission from computers over here. Uh, she says it's a welcome relief to see you once again. I will aid you in any way I can. And she has a mission for us, being sponsory. So let's uh, let's take that. I am relieved to see that you escaped Tech Square unharmed. You won't get much rest, I'm afraid. Fuse's minions have attacked the treehouse and toppled it. Uh oh. So we get a jet ray mask for this mission. That's pretty cool. And she's giving me. A little bit of a tutorial. Basically, you can open the map like this with M. And there we are right here. There's where our objective is right across the street. And this is the whole map that we can see. So we're going to run over here. This is where we're supposed to go to find the fusion spawns. And I see them already. A cool thing, uh, you can actually kill these fusion spawns faster if you bring out your Buttercup Nano. Buttercup being a like red Blastons B Nano. Uh, these are yellow C nanos so in the in the rock paper scissors of fusion fall B beats C and A beats B and C beats A so 
We actually do more damage to sea monsters if we have a blast on Xano out like Buttercup. That's something cool that uh, not a lot of people utilize, and it's pretty pretty important for, for dealing with some harder enemies. Obviously, these enemies aren't the hardest thing, but we're going to get them all. And it looks like we did uh, defeat all three. Didn't play the uh, mission complete sound for some reason. I'm not sure what's up with that. I think it's because she's already she's doing a tutorial right now. But we did get a crate. I can open those later. But we're going to run back over to Computers. We got the item we needed, and we're going to complete this quest here. Let's run back on over. Also a cool thing, uh, there are extra dialogues uh, throughout every step of the mission. I'm not going to read all of them, um, because that would take way too long. But if you're ever in the middle of a mission and opened your journal, they all have unique uh, unique text in this box here. So if you wanted to... If you wanted a bit more information about the missions you're doing, um, that's a good way to do it. So we're going to turn this mission in now. She says, We will need the gravity decelerator brought back online immediately to restore the trios to its previous state. It was a heroic effort on your part. Thank you. And uh, we completed it, and we get a new mission too. Shock and Owl. She also says, good work, the gravity decelerator was stolen from the Treehouse anti-gravity projector. It was manufactured by Mandark Industries. That's interesting. Mandark is out here helping the KND, you already know. Actually, Mandark was just on the screen right there, and so is Computer. It's perfect. There are fusions in this area that want to destroy the Treehouse. We must assist the kids next door in boosting their defenses. Shall we proceed? Oh, absolutely. Gotta help out the kids next door whenever we can. And then we're going to have to try out jump pads oh just to get up to the treehouse i gotcha i gotcha i gotcha yeah talk to number two he's up here on the treehouse also one second i'm gonna i'm gonna cut the recording real quick Alright, we are back. Sorry, I, I realized that my Discord was, like, making noises. That wasn't your Discord, don't worry, that was mine. Um, I turned that off, so you wouldn't hear, you're not gonna hear them at, uh, you're not gonna hear the, uh, the noise anymore for a Discord message. Apologize about that one. We're gonna run up to the treehouse, talk to number two, he's up here, looks like a bunch of people are already hanging out. Perfect, it's so nice to see this game populated with, with real players instead of just, like, our CT and dev team. But number two says, hey, I remember you. You're the kid from Tech Square. You better get some nanos before we send you back to the past. That's a good idea. I love me some nanos. I always want some more nanos. And uh, take Shaka now. He says, hey, you're back. There's trouble around here. Fusion number two has ordered the Shock Tanglers in Sector V to steal energy from the Treehouse. You need to get it back. And he has another mission for us. I'm going to take it. Uh, he says, if we're going to send you back to the past, we got to get this time machine running. All you got to do is collect some 2x4s and we'll be on our way. So, uh, we're going to start out with Shaka now because that's the mission we got first. I'll save... Um, I'll save 2x4 technology for a bit later. We'll do that next. Uh, and I'll, I'll put Buttercup away because she's getting a bit tired. But we're going to head on over over to the fountain is where the Shock Tangler spawn. There is a little bit of a super speedrun strategy you can use. Because if you see this one, you have to collect a stash of 2x4s. And that is over here. And then you'll have to defeat Shock Tanglers after. So you can kind of like go over here and do all of them in one go. But I think for the purpose of this playthrough, I'm going to try to take things as slow as I can um, and not speedrun things, just so it's, you know, there's more content to watch. Um, but I will be giving out those little, little tips if you guys uh, wanted any more tips on how to get through this game a bit faster. Alright, let's pull up Buttercup. We can stun her, or stun this uh, stun this enemy. Looks like he did have an energy cube. We do need a, a, two more. We're going to get two more energy cubes. These have a chance of dropping from uh, defeated enemies. Looks like we got one there. I'm almost out of health, so let's uh, let's chill out. I don't want to die already on my playthrough on the first or the second part. Technically the first part, but you know, also the second part. Me and Andy, me and Andy are going to be taking these on together. Here, we'll take out Buttercup. We'll hit him with a good stun, and it looks like we got all the energy cubes. Perfect. Great, you got all three energy cubes. Please bring them to me. So number two, we will do as you say. We're going to head on back. To the treehouse. Um, I'm gonna use the jump pads this time and not be boring and use the bridges. We're gonna get some crazy air on this one. Whoa! Perfect, perfect. We're going to run up the slope here and talk to number two is up here on the top. And then we'll we'll see what else we can do. Jing Wei. Hey, shout out Smite. <laughs> Want a mission? 
I know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making a bit of I'm gonna be talking about some of the the names I see because you know interacting with other players is really fun and cool in these games. Let's turn in this quest. She says, "Thanks for these. You really gave those monsters a jolt." <laughs> Go see computer. She's got something for you. So computer's gonna have our award. Um, but while before we talk to computers, let's uh, do this other mission while we have because you can switch missions on the fly um, in this game, which is really really cool. So we have to collect the stash of 2x4s for this for this mission. We have to grab 2x4 technology in order to complete the time machine. Um, that's one of the proponents we need in order to finish the time machine. So, it's over here. We're just going to jump over off the treehouse and head up this side of the street. We can find the 2x4s over in this corner of the map. And then we'll be able to collect them and see if that's what we need for the time machine. Right here, Buttercup is almost fully healed. Um, I do like to just have my Nano out just to have them out because I think they're really cool. I know it's not like the best thing ever because they do drains their stamina, but you can rest up easy. Um, but I'm gonna leave her. I'm gonna keep her in there for now. Found the two by fours. Let's collect them. It says good work, but we need some more. Some shock tanglers still have some. All right, so let's go and uh, take out some shock tanglers again. Uh, use the Buttercup Nano to stun. Ooh, they did not have a 2x4. Interesting. They were the closest ones to him. But they did. Perfect. The only problem is I don't have a heal nano right now, so uh, I kind of have to, I have to wait for my health to regenerate. Um, but once I do have a heal nano, and we all know which one that's going to be, Mr. Jawbreaker Break, we'll be able to heal during fights, and it's going to be a lot easier to, uh, to do missions. But for now, we can just wait and uh, take out Shock Tanglers. Looks like they had a 2x4 as well. We got all of them. Perfect. Please bring those 2x4s back to me and I'll get to work. Awesome. So we're going to head on back to number 2. This music is amazing, by the way. This music is quite, quite good. Just as I remembered it. It's amazing. It's very amazing to play Fusion Fall again. Not just play it, like, by myself or with the dev team. Like, play it with all you guys, all the community. So you can see just, like, you can just see people running around. Like, doing their own thing. And there's a lot of them. It's amazing. As you can see earlier, when I when I pulled up the uh, the population tab... There's a couple hundred people playing this game at all times, and it's amazing. Okay, let's turn this into number two. Oops, didn't mean to talk to you there. I can use these 2 by 4s to rebuild the time machine for you, but there's something else missing. After you get your number two nano, talk to number five. She might know where you can find another missing piece. Well, perfect. So now we know after we finished our number two nano mission, we can go talk to number five. Hey, and just as we said that, we do have enough nano, or we have enough fusion matter to um, get the Practice Pranks nano mission, which is amazing. So we're going to be able to do this. We're going to turn in this quest to computers first, because we're it's over there. Number one is over in Hero Square. But we're going to uh, we're going to be able to get another nano, another team member for Buttercup to, to hang out with, which is amazing. Especially number two, because number two is a very, very good nano early on, because he has run. Or you can get him with run. Um, he also has some other powers, but personally I prefer getting fast feet or his run power. It's very, very nice for you know running around the future early and, and getting everything done faster. Um, so we're going to talk to computers and turn in this quest. You defeated the Shock Tanglers and recovered those energy cubes in short order. Well done. The candy, was, <laughs> the candy has sent something called a thumbs up. Oh, that's funny. Oh, she didn't know what a thumbs up was. I gotcha. Dexter didn't program that one in her apparently. Um, so before we do the nano mission, let's look at our inventory. We got a few things from our, our quest that we did. We got three crates, and we do have a jet ray mask, as well as uh, a jet ray wings, as well as a uh, lightning sword. So we're going to equip this, because you can have two weapons equipped at all times. If you wanted to know how to switch between them fast, you just hit the tab key. Hit tab, right above caps lock, and uh, we can switch to our lightning sword now. And we have a melee uh, weapon, which is going to be cool. I'm going to put the cape on, because the cape is pretty cool. The Jet Ray cape is pretty sick. Um, and I can put the mask on. The only thing is, I'm not sure if it clips through the, the hat. It does clip through the hat, but it's not that big of a deal, I don't think. So we're going to leave the Jet Ray mask on. And let's see what we got in our crates. Basic Berserker sneakers. A gumball. Oh, perfect. I don't I have any Cosmic Nanos right now, but that might be useful later. And then another Cosmic um, gumball. You can stack them, by the way, too, um, if you didn't know that. But we're going to leave that there. Uh, I don't really have a, a, a use for the shoes right now, because they're the same armor rating as my shoes right now, and I like the colors on mine better. But we're going to go talk to number 108 and get this number 2 nano mission on the way. You looking for a mission? Have you tangled with fusion number 2 yet? No, I'm, I, I think I'm about to, actually. 
Fusion number two is hiding inside the infected training area. He'll send shock tanglers to ambush you. They have dangerous eruption attacks. Computers will send an email with more information. Oh, perfect. So it looks like we have a new email. Yep. So if you guys want to check your email, you hit the uh, the P key on uh, the P key up there. It says, uh, eruption attacks. Be advised that Fuse's monsters have some clever maneuvers at their disposal. An eruption attack sends a concentrated blast of fusion matter your way if you see an eruption attack's target zone on the ground. Move out of the target area quickly to avoid sustaining damage. So that is one of the things that monsters can do um, in order to uh, attack you. Uh, I can show you what they are when we reach the lair. So we're going to have to run to the infected training area, which is over on this side of the map. But... Basically, a giant green circle will appear at your feet, and you have a few seconds to get out of the way before a giant blast of fusion matter erupts from the ground and does a lot of damage. Um, so that's, that's always something you want to look out for when you're fighting monsters. I don't, I don't think any of the monsters here at the early levels have them, but when you get later into the game, um, that is a staple for a lot of monsters um, to have eruption attacks. So we have made it to the infected the training area. We're about to do some platforming. Hope you're all ready. There's a candy agent here too. What's up? Number 1337. There's a fusion hanging out inside of our shooting area. I'm sure of it. Well, we're about to go find out if that's true. So we can head on inside the infected zone. Infected zones, uh, you saw in the, the other part. Uh, you know what they are. We can warp in. This is the kids next door training area, which has been infected by Fuse. Fuse. Oop, not Fuse. Fuse. Also, this music is amazing. Da, 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 da. Da, da. It's, a, it's like a little remix of the uh, KND theme song, which is amazing. Um, so we're about to jump around. We can use these platforms. We've got some crazy platforming challenges. Huh. Yeah. I'm going to do a 360 on this one. Ah. Uh, and here's some advanced strats. You can run on the, uh, the framework of this building and skip some of those platforms. Not that it matters, but, you know, it's a fun little trick to do. Looks like all these guys have successfully gotten their number two nano. We're, we're going next. So we're going to jump on in. Found the fusion layer, and we're about to, uh, about to head in. Get the shock tanglers. Watch out for the eruption attacks. So let's hope uh, some of them use eruption attacks on me. I'm going to use the sword. Just so... Actually, I might not be able to, because I think they're kind of uh, stuck up here on the wall. But we have to defeat four of them. So let me see if I can get like a shot on this guy and bring him down. There we go. Then I'll switch to my sword and we can uh, molly whop him like this. There was an eruption attack right there. You saw it. He kind of exploded some fusion matter from the ground. Buttercup. We're going to take out Buttercup. I feel like this would be a good thing to... She'd be a, a good enemy to... Or a good... There's another eruption attack right there. Three hits with the sword takes him out, which is amazing. We have to kill two more to complete this quest. I'm going to stun him with Buttercup take him out without taking any damage perfect perfect we're doing well you can also skip past enemies they don't aggro on you um from up on top of the wall so if you wanted to skip that one you could there's some more shock tanglers over here i'm gonna stun him again and then take him out real quick perfect perfect i'll take the rest of them out too while we're at it there we go we did good work and i need to defeat fusion number two i hate that guy Ooh, he doesn't seem like a good guy to uh, to be around so we're gonna take him out He's causing a lot of havoc in the candy training area, so we're going to we're gonna take him out swiftly. I'm gonna dodge these guys. Don't wanna get in fights, I don't have to. I'm gonna save Buttercup stamina, um, in case we need him for the fusion number two fight. Uh let's take out this guy actually. He's a bit too close for comfort. And uh looks like it opens up into this kind of like basin area. Okay, I killed him before the eruption attack could go off, which is amazing. You can also kill, if you defeat or kill the uh, the enemy before the eruption attack goes off, it doesn't it doesn't go off. So if you if you're in a, in a if you're in a situation where you can't get out of the eruption attack blast, um, just try to you can try to kill him really really quickly and it won't go off. But obviously that's a big risk. If you don't kill him as fast as you want to, then unfortunately uh, you will get hit by the blast. But here's fusion number two. He's he's got the flap, but he's flying around. A really, really amazing uh, fusion that they have here. I'm glad that they, they went... A lot of these fusions have different designs than their original counterpart. Obviously, number two, we saw him earlier, doesn't fly around in the flappa. I'm going to walk around and see if he... Uh, before he aggro's on me, I'm going to pull up Buttercup, just in case, so I can defend myself. Best fusion number two right there. He's kind of just flying around. He, oh, he aggroed on me. He, he saw me. He saw me. We're going to stun him, and it looks like we're going to take him out real quick. Good thing I had a stun there. I think he might have killed me if I did not, because um, he did a lot of damage. 
But we did get our number two nano now. We, we, we managed to grab our number two nano, and uh, this is going to be our second nano that we have. And we can pick between fast feet, we can pick between non-stop flight, and we can pick between lunch money. Um, fast feet makes you run faster. Lunch money gives you bonus money whenever you get money from a source. So if you kill an enemy, then you get more money. If you complete a mission, you get more money from that as well. Then recall is a bit of a weird power. It basically, you can set a waypoint at recall points that are in infected zones. I will show you some eventually. I don't believe there are any in the candy training area that I can show you, but I can try. Um, but I'm not going to grab recall because uh, it's kind of it's not really the best nano power. Um, and fast feet's going to be very 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 helpful for running around. So I'm going to grab fast feet. Zoom a zoom, as everyone knows who plays uh, the fusion fall. And she just sent me another email. And as you can see, we can pull out number two. He zoom a zooms and we run faster now, which is amazing. Which is amazing. What a great nano power. So she sent me a email called start you en start your engines oops she says talk to number five in pokey Oaks north she has learned about the existence of a critical device that should help in number two's re should help number two repair dexter's broken time machine good luck perfect and then i also see that we got two more crates um from that uh that engagement so let's open a crate some basic ellipse lifters this looks like like the mega shoes kind of and they'll add their gold crate, and it looks like we got a boys cyber goth t-shirt. Not that I'm going to wear those, but we did get those. But now that we have number two nano, our quest is now done for level one. We are now a level two player. As you can see in the top corner, we're level two. I can pull out number two and run around. And we're going to escape the infected zone up this way. I'm going to see if there's a recall point. I don't believe there is anywhere. There might be one over here. No. Um, so the recall point is not in this uh, infected zone, but it will be in the other ones. So I can I can show you those when we get there. But we have reached the end of this episode of the Let's Play. We have successfully completed level one. We've got through a couple missions. We got our number two nano. Um, that's going to be this part of the Let's Play. Obviously, leave a like if you, you guys enjoyed this part and want to see more. Uh, comment what you guys enjoyed, what you guys didn't enjoy. I'll try to fix that as best I can. Uh, let me know how you like this new overlay. I, I changed it just a little bit from what we had previously. I changed the logo and uh, I removed a few things, but it should be all good. Um, I, I really like it, but I want to know what your opinion is. Um, how are you guys liking Fusion Fall Retro? Are you guys enjoying the beta that we have going on right now for this week? Um, let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, I'm very, very excited to see all of you guys playing, and we're going to be back in a little bit with part two, I guess technically, or three. It's going to be part two. We're going to be going through the level two missions and getting our Eddie Nano. So I'm very excited to go through that with you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.